Hey guys, um, I'm not exercising again today because, you know, so um, I should be right back to exercising tomorrow or the day after. As you can tell, I'm a little, a little thrilled today, but it's okay. Anyway, tomorrow or Friday, I should get right back at it, which I'm really wanting to tomorrow. I have not exercised long enough, and I'm not wanting to let it go any further than a few days when I have to. So, um, basically what this vlog is today, in part it's an apology if anybody took it to be that I was being hateful. I didn't mean it to come across hateful, which I'm sure it did. It probably sounded completely hateful, I'm sorry. Um, I was just merely explaining once again what my plan is and that I don't knock anybody off who's got their plan. So um, if anybody took it wrong, I'm sorry. I was just hurt because it kind of felt like I was being directed, so to speak, maybe It'd be a good way to put it. But anyway, to keep myself from burying myself any deeper, I'm just apologizing for anybody who mis who might have misunderstood what I was getting at or me sounding hateful. I'm very sorry. Um, a couple people uh, gave me a very gentle rebuke, a constructive criticism about my video, and I appreciate it. It's amazing how God uses people to help people out when they're in the wrong. And so because of these two particular people, I am especially making today's kicking it as a apology video. So, um, to all, any of you and all of you, thank you. Um, as one said, if you're going to do a nutritional and um, exercise channel or videos, you have to expect for some to really criticize you. And I know that when anybody does YouTube video, I don't care what they're doing, if it's exploring or if it's crafting or if it's exercising or if it's vlogging or if it's live streaming, it doesn't matter what the heck it is. There's always going to be somebody on there who makes a comment that either hurts the person even though they're not meaning to or there's some troll out there who's being absolutely nutty and hateful. Um, so far I've not had anybody actually comment hateful to me or give me a trolling comment and I'm grateful for that. Anybody who's made any comments to me has tried to be helpful. It's just the way that they had put it across that kind of, you know, kind of hurt me. But I know that every one of you is mean well, and so therefore, you know. Um, and I am working on eating less in my portions. I really am. I mean, it's not just a matter of me only eating when I'm hungry and stopping when I'm satisfied, but the portions being smaller because I know smaller portions is what really makes it. It's not just eating when you're only hungry and stopping when you're satisfied, but it has a whole lot to do with how much it takes to get you satisfied. I mean, you can uh, finally be full after you've ate 2,000 calories on one plate. That doesn't profit anything, so, you know. But it's a live and learn process, as I'd said, and um, that's what I'm working toward. I'm still learning a whole lot, you know. The one thing that, um, another thing about the Ray Down Plan that I hadn't mentioned was that, um, well, I might have on my first video, I don't remember, but, um, the other thing about the Ray Down Plan is you not only eat when you're only hungry, but when you start feeling that you're hungry, uh, get into another activity for a little while. Give yourself like another half hour to an hour or so. See if you still feel hungry. And if not, or if you forget to eat, then that's fine, you know, because then that allows your body to more or less eat up some of the fat 
instead of you immediately feeding it. So, but anyway, that's just another part of the ray down plan. And I've got a one track mind. It only works one direction. And when there's so many things to remember to do one thing, it really takes a whole lot for me to remember all of it. I used to have an excellent memory, believe it or not, but um, circumstances throughout the years kind of ruined that. So now it's a harder practice for me. But anyway, um, on a lighter note, I'm doing pretty good today. So far I've only ate once, which was General Sal and uh, Lo Mein noodles. And that um, was a Devon. Like, I only had three pieces of the General Sal chicken, three pieces, and the lo mein noodles wasn't even one-fourth of a cup. So that was pretty good. And I had me half a large green bowl of iceberg lettuce salad with, um, I would say probably was equivalent to about three to four tablespoons of shredded Kobe Jack cheese and uh, chow mein noodles, the rice noodles. Uh, and that didn't even equal a one fourth cup, but I probably had like one eighth of a cup with the chow mein noodles somewhere around there. So, and that's all I've had so far today. And one miniature Coke. Um, seeing that I can't drink like a whole can of RC or or like uh, Crystal Pepsi or anything. Those miniature Cokes really work so well for me because they're only 90 calories a can and I'm satisfied with drinking one can. Just one can. And some days I don't even eat, don't even drink one. So um, I'm going to stick with that. Uh, we went to Sam's Club and for three 10 pack cases is under $10. That's a pretty good buy. So I went on ahead and got me a big case of it. So I, that will last me way over a month, guaranteed, because I've already got more in there. So I like how convenient those little cans are. They're just, the cans are cute, the portions is right, and the calories are perfect. So. And when I'm needing a little bit of a sugar, they kind of help a lot with that too. So, yeah, um, I feel good about today. I'm still really not hungry right now either, so that's a plus also. I mean, okay, so we go out to Walmart, and we had just got back. But before we went to Walmart, we stopped at Taco Bell. And I had already ate here at the house. And guess what I did, y'all? I just sat there. I sat there. My husband ordered what he wanted. And I just sat there and waited for him to eat. I didn't get me anything. I wasn't hungry. I didn't want anything. So I did it, guys. I did it. And tonight is church. And... On Wednesday nights, church always has a dinner. So, um, probably to make sure that I am good and hungry and ready to eat at church. Uh, if I'm hungry before then, I may either get me a, uh, a yogurt, because I've got yogurt. And they're just the small cups, you know, just the four ounce cups of yogurt. Um, I also invested in the veggie straws. It was a box of the mini bags of the veggie straws. Um, there's the sea salt and the zesty ranch. Uh, I really don't like the zesty ranch. And the good thing is there's more bags of the, of the um, sea salt. So the good thing about that is if I do need something crunchy but not wanting a heavy snack, I can just go on ahead and get one of those and I'll be fine. But those are going to be on a reserve. Uh, what I'm not wanting to overeat on, I've got right there in my closet, in my 
reserve closet of our overstock. So that way it's out of mine. It's not going to be tempting me. And therefore I won't be even gluttoning on those veggie straws, you know. So I will make sure to do it right, to eat light or whatever it takes, so I'll be good and hungry for church. It is now 15 after 2, and I ate probably about 10.30, so I'm doing pretty good there. Um, but like I said, I'm, for anybody who might have took my video wrong or it came across harshly, I am sorry. I was just doing my own rant. And you know, it's funny, people does a rant. And we've all got to let it out sometimes. All of us. Including me. Maybe I'll just stick with a Snapchat rant so that it's only a minute long. That way I've got a less chance of really digging myself into a grave. I'm going to explain myself a little bit to you all. I'm one of those kind of people I don't know how to talk. And that kind of poses a problem for me because a lot of times I can meet somebody, have a conversation with them, and they don't want nothing more to do with me because I don't know how to present myself. And yesterday, as I done my video, I kind of felt myself doing the same old thing that always caused me to lose a friend. I don't want to lose any of you guys. I love each and every one of you. So please forgive me. And I do appreciate you trying to keep me on track. Because everybody needs somebody to help them stay on track. They do. So seeing the kind of plan I'm on, if you ever want to keep me on track, just remind me to make sure to don't eat when I'm hungry and for me to stop when I'm full so that, that I don't turn around and keep on eating, gluttoning, and overstuffing myself. <laughs> I would really appreciate that. <laughs> I would. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry, guys. I am. And I love every one of you. So, if all goes well tomorrow morning, I'm going to get right back at the exercising. And I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.